Uh, everyone on the call, we're joined with head coach Doug Martin of New Mexico State. If you have a question for head coach Doug Martin, please press star one on your keypad at this time. Again, that's star one to get in the queue to ask questions. New Mexico State is coming back this week after a 38-22 loss at UTEP. The Aggies will host New Mexico for a 6 p.m. Mountain Time kickoff. That game will take place at Aggie Memorial Stadium in Las Cruces. Uh, Coach, before we get started with questions, please give us your thoughts on the upcoming game against another rival, New Mexico. Yeah, it's going to be a really tough uh, tough game. New Mexico is an excellent offensive football team, uh, run the option extremely well. So I think everybody understands the pressures that that puts on your defense. So we have to get off to a faster start offensively and make sure that uh, we're scoring points and keep ourselves in the game. Uh, but, I mean, it'll be a sold-out crowd here. It'll be an electric game, and uh, we'll certainly look forward to it. Thank you very much, Coach. Again, as a reminder to all callers on this call, please press star 1 on your telephone's keypad to get in the queue to ask questions for Head Coach Doug Martin of New Mexico State. Uh, coach, uh, Tyler Rogers again went over the 200-yard mark passing-wise. What did you see from him on Saturday against UTEP? Yeah, yeah Tyler really played well. Uh, you know, it's uh... – I don't know if I've ever had this happen. We had an offensive outing where we had no turnovers, no sacks, and no offensive penalties, but didn't score enough points. And that was unfortunate. We we dropped nine passes, or Tyler would have had an incredible night. Uh, but he did a great job of taking care of the ball. He made some huge plays throwing the ball. He made some huge plays running uh, and scrambling. And uh, I thought he really played one of his better games. And, Coach, uh, Jacob, I'm, I'm going to mess his net last name up, Nwangwa. Um, Nwangwa, a, yes. Nwangwa, sorry about that. Um, yeah. He had 14 tackles on defense against uh, a UTEP team um, that, you know, likes to run the ball on offense. I mean, what what did you see from him on Saturday as well? Yeah, Jacob is a safety that has a lot of experience. He's played since being a true freshman here. He's a junior now, and he's uh, gotten better every single year. He's gotten bigger, stronger, faster. He understands the game really well with the experience that he has. And, you know, it's a good uh, – UTEP has an excellent running back. He's going to be an NFL player. And uh, Jacob was able to get him down in space a couple of times by himself, which is rare. So, uh, you know, we made some strides defensively. We, we've certainly got to play better, eliminate the explosion plays that they got. But um, we did show some improvement. And one last final question. Um, I think we spoke about this last week. But what does it really mean for your program to start off with two rivalry games and then an SEC game before you even get to your first conference game? Yeah, the, you know, I mean, if you, as coaching-wise, you'd certainly love to start off with an FCS game. We don't ever have that luxury here, and it'd be nice to get that at some point. But these rivalry games are great opportunities. They're really important here. Uh, unfortunately, we just let that first one slip away. But uh, we got a great opportunity here this weekend to rebound and get one that makes everything right before we head to Kentucky. All right, Coach, thank you very much for your time, and best of luck against New Mexico this week. Thank you.